You know, our next guest from The White Lotus, where he was a remarkably devoted nephew. His new show is on Netflix. It's called One Day. Please welcome Leo Woodall. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool. Yeah? Oh, good. good. I'm glad you're here. Uh, boy, I enjoyed you on The White Lotus. You really, Thanks, you um, were a villain, but also, uh, uh, I hated you, and I also liked you, and I felt sorry for you on the show. Oh, thanks. Not you, of course, but, you uh, know, the character that yeah, you were yeah, playing. Yeah. Was that your first big job? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. White Lotus definitely kind of, you know, changed a lot of things. Yeah, I would imagine so, yeah. yeah. You uh, Did you know when you auditioned for that role that you would, that, how it was gonna go, like with that scene with the the uncle? Uh, you did not know. They didn't, they didn't say like, by the way, We're seen. you'll be sodomizing an older man. <laughs> <laughs> FYI, wanna make sure you're cool with that beforehand? They don't tell you that. No, they didn't tell me they that. They didn't no, tell no, you no. that. <laughs> no. It was quite a surprise. You're from a family of actors, right? Yeah. Who in your family is an actor? Uh, so my dad is an actor. My stepdad, it kind of goes, you know. Back to back, Shakespearean time? Basically, yeah. 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 And so did, are they excited that you are an actor, or is that something they did not want for you? No, they are. They're, they're very yeah. supportive. Um, my mum gets very anxious about it. Why? Well, when I told her I was going to be on your show, she kind of nearly had a panic attack. <laughs> really? No, what? not nearly a panic attack, but she kind of, she just... <laughs> what was she, what was the nature of her fear? Like, what was she concerned that you might... I think she's just worried about her little boy. I see. Yeah. Uh, well, there's nothing, Mom, there's nothing to worry about. We're taking, we're going to take very good care of your little boy. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely wasn't expecting, um, you know, one of my first big jobs to be, what did you say, sodomizing an older man? Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, who could ever imagine that? Yeah. <laughs> Did you that know fun. when you were a kid that you wanted to... <laughs> Stop yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you were a kid, did you know that you wanted to be an actor? Was that the plan because it's the, like kind of the family business? No, I, I, I wanted to be a PE teacher. <laughs> that was really what you yeah. wanted to be. Well, I just, I, I wasn't really good at much and I, <laughs> I liked sport. I loved my PE teachers and so I kind of... Just Who was your PE your teacher? Off. What's name your PE teacher? Favorite He's one? He's called Jack Costello. Uh huh. You knew his first name. That's you know what? I knew all my PE teachers did not know any of their first. Well, it's names. weird calling him Jack because he was always just Mr. Costello. Mr. Costello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Mr. Costello, you looked at him. You said, "That's what I would like to be, Mr. Costello." Yeah, but then he reminded me that you you have to get like really good grades to be a PE. Do any... you though? Do you? Apparently. <laughs> My dream was shattered when I realized you have to you know, I'm gonna not tell get you, a, a, an F. Maybe song. that's how it goes over there. I'm almost certain that's not how it goes here. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure. I think if you can figure out how to inflate a volleyball, <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't actually you can at least that, so I'm basing that on my PE teacher. teachers from my youth. Right, I right, don't right. want to cast a yeah. on all of them. <laughs> but that is interesting because a lot of kids who love sports will go like, I want to be Michael Jordan. I want mm -hmm. you, not necessarily, I want to be Mr. Costello. I want it to be Jack Costello. <laughs> <laughs> Do you keep in touch with Jack or no? No, no I haven't spoken to him in years, but um, he'll you're, see this and then he'll hopefully... I hope so, I hope so. Um, your new show, One Day, has only been out for one day, but it, I feel like <laughs> it's already a big, a big hit. Do you sense mm -hmm. that, it, like it, it went over? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I have no idea. Are you getting people, are people reaching out to you? Do you yeah. see like an online uh, a surge of interest in you? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a lot of texts um, from people, but I'm shocking at, at responding to texts or even properly looking at my phone. I actually nearly missed the White Lotus audition because I didn't check my email. Is that true? Yeah. You did? Yeah, it was in my inbox for about two weeks, and it was... <laughs> oh, my <laughs> I God. I didn't know, and so, you know, last minute, I... Uh... Oh, wow. I got the red alert, yeah. In a way, that can be big, though, because that can be like, hey, this guy, wow, he doesn't e he hasn't even gotten back to us. He must have a lot going yeah, on. Yeah, I think that's probably what got me the gig. <laughs> got, this guy's cool. <laughs> he doesn't care. What is One Day about? What's the idea behind the show? It's about two people who meet at their graduation. You're one of the people? I'm one of the people. Who's the other people? She's called Amber Kamod. Okay. Um, and they meet at the end of at the graduation night. 
they click and you basically follow their story for 20 years, but only on the 15th of July. So are you aging 20 years yeah. over the course? Oh, and do you wear like the, the prosthetics or something like that? Yeah, they gave me like, uh, what are they called? Uh, crow, crow's feet, hair. Yeah, no. uh, uh, crow's feet, like they they did? just a little bit of thing here and a couple of gray hairs. And um, I tried sort of adding a, a walk that made me look older and yeah. they immediately told me, you're 40, not 80. Yeah, right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, at your age, there's no difference between yeah, 40 yeah, and 80, yeah. right? <laughs> the show's set in the 90s, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Which is, you were born in the 90s, I guess, huh? 96, yeah. Yeah, 96. So you missed the Ooh, 90s. I like, yeah, that. you were, you, is it weird, uh, like, seeing the things, the props, the, the set, etc.? Yeah, there were some dodgy phones, and um, the, a, a typewriter came out at one point, but I think that was more of a, a character choice than a 90s thing, because I'm pretty sure there were better ways of typing at that point. Right? Yeah, there Please were, yeah, there were, yes, there, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to remember actually, but yeah, no, we had, yeah, we had computers and printers in the 90s. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, We yeah, even had yeah. like AOL in 1994, <laughs> so yes, we did have that. So, well, maybe they, they were just, you know, they just were out of date people. You don't always have to be on the cutting edge when no, you're no, 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 a movie no. character. No, it's more the, the clothes and the hair that was a, is a thing, there was some, some questionable haircuts that I had to. Will you, as a, a foreigner to our country, watch our Super Bowl on Sunday? Yes. Are you rooting <laughs> for anyone in particular? No. <laughs> do you like football? No. No. <laughs> no, I do. No, I, I mean, I have to call it American football. Right, yes. Yeah, I right. do like the, the Chiefs, because I like... Oh, you like the Chiefs, yeah. <laughs> Well, I like Patrick Mahomes, so I hope. Okay, you... all right. And so I've, you are I've recently rooting. become a Swifty, so. Oh, you have. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> why do you feel pressure to become a Swifty? You know, no, you'll, be, just can't, no. you'll be torn to shreds if you're not a Swifty. You have That's to. That's basically why. It's I did kind it, of yeah. the law of the land right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's um, great to meet you, and congratulations on you, uh, on the show. Being, you know, you're now the guy. You, we're in this big ensemble. It must be a lot of pressure now to be the the one of the two leads on the show. It was, um, yeah, it was a bit of a shock. I, you know, I, there was a day on set where I, I wanted to spit my gum out, and the gum, the bin was literally, you know, in row one over there, and I went to spit it out, and s someone kind of <laughs> it said, "No, where are you going?" And I said, "I'm just spitting my gum out," and they like held out their hand and offered me to spit, and I said, well, "No, this cannot be. I, yeah, this, this yeah, can't yeah. be my life now." Yeah, that's right. So it was a bit of a shock. <laughs> yeah. I can see why your mother's worried. Um... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Leo Woodall, everybody. One Day is his new show. It's on Netflix now. We'll be back with some 41.